We need to move away from fossil fuel electric generation. When you think about the New York City we know and love, if you look at the National Climate Report, that's not going to exist in 50 years. Whether it's shopping malls or energy transformation, I mean, you're going to have people that don't want to see a change. When you've got a magnitude of a hurricane that comes through and just starts snapping off all the telephone poles, it's a monumental task. A lot of unnecessary chatter instead of, hey, here's somebody trying to do something good. Maybe if I help, then we can ensure the success of it. It is all about how people are going to get here, stay here, live here, and be able to visit here and not create more pollution and fill. Now you'd have to be totally brain dead not to understand this. We got all that water out there. Put a couple of wind farms in. You go to Atlantic City, you go to Bogota. There's six towers there, blowing all the time. You know, why can't we do it? Why can't we do it? People started looking for options and getting into renewable energy, and especially solar panels. Something as simple as lifting three solar panels onto the roof of a bakery and then wiring it down into some batteries. There's a lot of very tangible optimism in that. To organize a reaction, a way of participating in this industry, they decided to be agents of change instead of victims of change. We sow the seeds that we may never see. You know what I mean? We sow seeds of hope. <laughs> Many people have a sense of relief in the community that there's a place where they can go and have at least some energy. It might be a lifesaver.